they've spent most of the year looking at past and present um, and understanding the difference between things that happened in the past and things that are happening in the present um, and how life has changed in terms of family life and transportation and just how it's different now than it used to be. Um, and then we've been looking at maps a lot, which is, was something that we tied into this trip, was to look at kind of mapping out the tidal basin and where we would be walking and how that fits into some of the other things they might recognize in Washington, D.C. The second piece we needed to do before we can actually start recording anything is to think back about what we noticed and remembered last week. Are you ready? All right, here's all of the words that came to mind when we thought about the Franklin Delano Roosevelt Memorial or after we read the biography of FDR, what we learned about him. So here were the words that you came up with. Wheelchair. See if you can keep these in your head. Help. Big. Speech. President. Polio. Food. New Deal. Jobs. Little. So what do we know about Franklin Delano Roosevelt? that would be important for other people to know about him. Veronica, what was something we know? Oh, um, he, he, he did a new deal because the other Americans didn't have food. He made the new deal because so many Americans didn't have food? Does that sound about right? Yeah. Why did they not have enough food? Because they were poor. Why were they poor? Why were so many people poor then? Oh, we have another big word because, up here. Because they didn't have money. Why did they not have money? How do you get money? You, you, they get, work, you get a good work job. You have to get a job. Right. So, Veronica, he made the New Deal because so many Americans didn't have jobs. And because they didn't have jobs, they didn't have enough food. All right, so let's see. Let's record that with this one. We're going to say, he made the new deal because so many Americans didn't have jobs. Can we say that? He made, he made the, the new, new deal, deal because so many Americans didn't have jobs. Sometimes when I make a movie and we're trying to get something that's a bigger chunk, I'll do it in small groups because 20 children saying the thing at the same time becomes very hard to understand. Um, and I think I may go back in this video and actually add the subtitles in so that people could read as well what's being said because it may be hard to understand all of them. Um, but I wanted them all to be involved in it, everybody to have a chance to share what they know and everybody to be a part of saying, oh, so we know he did this. We know he was, this is what he contributed to our country. All right, let's think about what we know about Thomas Jefferson. We wrote here, huge. Monticello, <coughs> lawyer, cool, statue, reading, big, Louisiana territory, tall, writing, words, hard, third president. So what do we know about, the Tom, about Thomas Jefferson that we might want to include in our movie? Jonathan, what's something we know? He's tall. He was actually, not only is his statue tall, he was tall. Um, he was tall. Not that tall. <laughs> but he was much taller than most men of that time. He was taller oh, than yes. you? Um, <coughs> yes. Whoa. So we're going to say, he was tall. Practice it. He was tall. What else do we know about Thomas Jefferson? Mm -hmm. Abdullah, what else do we know? He was the third president. He was the third president. Say it. He was the third president. Here we go. He was the third president. Primary sources are a challenge in first grade um, and something that I really struggled with when I came from the upper grades down to first grade because so many primary sources involve text um, and often text in a language that, while it's English, isn't really accessible to young children. So images are the most powerful primary source I know of for these kids, which is why I offer them as many images as I can. But the memorials, partly because of their scale, just the sheer size makes it something that they have to really take in in a different way. But also I think um, for a six or seven year old, the chance to touch it is really meaningful to them, to walk up to that statue of Franklin Delano Roosevelt and lean on it and put their hands on it 
um, or to walk up and, and run their fingers over the words. Even if they don't understand what those words mean, they're having a real powerful sense of how important this person was and what they offered us and of the opportunities that are available to them when they think about, well, look, this person did it. Who knows what I can do? Like, this is a real thing. It's much more tangible to them.